this is going to be a demonstration video a floor indicator that I got. That's the B floor. One. Two there. Three. And four. Okay, let's go back down. Three. Oops, battery is dead. Two. One. And finally, B. Okay, this is pretty much for the floor in the can. Here we got the call button off the elevator. Call and in use light. It's a whole stock oil elevator. It just came off. I put some electronics, a timer in. So you can actually the light glows a couple seconds after you push the button. It's a nice button. It's the same type of fixture as the floor in the kinder. There you go. Now let's turn the main light on. There it goes. So now you can see the main surprise. Yes, it's the car panel. Remove the emergency stop. I'm missing the button for the alarm. But once we lift the cover off, you can see the button strip there. And there you can see it's the alarm switch. It's an empty button and you can put one of these on. There you go. But I don't want to have all the tools complete. Someday I'll get some of those buttons. Let's put the cover back on and demonstrate the elevator. Capacity 600 kilograms for 8 persons. It was manufactured, I mean, controlled and stuff like that. It's connected to the alarm controls, all in. And we got the floors. B. 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is my call button I got here. Let's unplug it and take it over. There you go. Get them all next to each other. Here we got the emergency stop switch. Stop or run. This is a heavy red switch. I'll take a look at these buttons from the side. Put it back to run. And last but not least, we'll take a look at the call button. Focus camera. Here we got also a switch. It is about the same. We've got the indicator. And the seal plug has a battery I'm using. So that's it.